I remember when you got a new typewriter and it was like the, the coolest thing in the world. I know. It was like Christmas came early. We're like, this is going to be so awesome. When they when they pulled them all out, I was like, "Do do you want my autograph?" <laughs> you know, and I'm sure if Chuck saw it, he probably laughed too. <laughs> I have a recording. I just hit record. We were just talking shit about you. Yeah, oh, all right. it's all right. You can listen That's to cool. it in the bonus pod. Um, <laughs> it's basically Nate, Josh, and myself, Brian, <laughs> here to talk an oral history of the Phantoms newsletter. Yes. And it's a good excuse for the three of us to get together after all these years in bullshit. Mm-hmm. It's also a reason to use the word oral. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't really hear the I word use, oral. I use it quite frequently, but in other contexts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't need to know. <laughs> um, no, I mean, okay, so over before Christmas, I posted this Mr. Sperm's Christmas special, which <laughs> I loved um, it. people were, I, I saw, I'm like, oh, I should post this. It's Christmas time. People get a kick out of it. Most people like, loved it. Yeah, like ninety nine percent. I think yeah. There's I don't know what the percentages. Per- <laughs> There's a one percent that wasn't very happy with it, but other than that, I think we everybody had a good time seeing that and brought back a lot of memories. Yeah, uh, I I did I did. It's um it's it's funny how much, I mean looking back, I was like I remember when we actually first put that out. Mm-hmm. Um, Several teachers that saw it before, before it was published, they were like, "Oh, these stockings are phallic," and we were all upset by that. And I'm, and all yep. of a sudden, I'm looking at it on yeah. Facebook, and I'm like, "Okay, maybe they're not." But we called it Mister Sperm's Christmas. You know, it's yeah, yeah. yeah. The fact that <laughs> it's an easy step. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How did we get away with that? I, I posted that. We we're all talking about it, and then I'm like, "Okay, let's start a group." I'll start scanning these things in, and I'm going through going, I totally understand why we got suspended. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, looking back as like a, a 30-year-old now, I mean, I, I think I, I know a little bit about what the, the world expects of you yeah. as far as like, uh, you, know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, just whatever is, uh, I don't even know yeah. the word I'm looking for. You know, it, it'd well, come right out of my mouth if I didn't have a microphone in front of my face, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, you look at, uh, you know, well, certainly a lot of the a, a lot of the stuff we talked about was um, w- um, topical was, was very topical. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We were obsessed with some issues. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, well, and 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 certainly um, certainly to the point that sometimes we found some things that other people had said and we're like, that's so great. Let's just um cut this out of the paper and paste it on here. And a lot of that. We <laughs> plagiarized a lot. That's much more than I ever expected. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you know, we didn't never made any money off of it, so I don't know if it's actually breaking any laws there. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but um, I guess let's just go. I mean, do you guys want to start right from the beginning? Sure. 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 We'll just jump right in from the be- beginning. The beginning was, I think, Josh and myself – would this you? is the only memory I have of us starting that. For some reason, the back of McDonald's. Yep. Okay. And me and you making copies at the food bag, going to McDonald's, sorting them out. And this is when we we got into yes. more than one page. So yeah, like, that was uh, that was probably like three, four issues into it. But it was like still the the same year, freshman year. Yeah, we were just know. like, and I. That first issue was only like two things with a crayon that said the Phantoms news and crayon. Oh yeah, well it was just, it was basically just us messing around one day after school. You yeah. know, we, we we went to your house and you had that crappy typewriter. The typewriter, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> I remember when you got a new typewriter and it was like the, the coolest thing in the world. I know. It was like Christmas came early. We're like, this is gonna be so awesome. Oh, Look, man. you hit a button and it erases. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That no was, more whiteout. <laughs> that was pretty cool. The typewriter. Wow. <laughs> but I, I remember vividly the going to your house and, and messing around with the typewriter. And uh, we just, uh, it was right around like the O.J. Simpson thing. And yeah, it was like yeah. everybody was writing about O.J. Simpson. I, it initially was supposed to be kind of like what, like the onion is. 
but this is before the onion you know that's true yeah but it was it was supposed to be like just news you know it was like yeah, this is what's yeah. happening and we're just gonna put a satirical spin on it yeah yeah i don't know if i said that right you did you, you did, did. All right, all right. Yeah, hey yeah, cool yeah. <laughs> i know i had to type the word chauffeur to you earlier and i, I had to look it up yeah <laughs> <laughs> Well, with phones now, autocorrect is, like, amazing. Well, I couldn't even start it. I'm, like, waiting for autocorrect <laughs> to kick in, and I'm like, is it S, C? I don't know. Paul Schaefer is yeah. not driving you? Um, no. It's like, you got to have to at least some of it That's partially true. right, and then it's, like, a French word. So, all right, I'm getting <laughs> off track. <laughs> no, but, yeah, we did the one-page thing, and I, I – okay, it's coming back to me. I remember us making somewhat of, like, 25 to 50 copies – we might have rode our bikes to school that day. We'd ride our bikes yeah, to school. Yeah, in freshman year, we rode our bikes a we, lot. We yeah. rode our bikes a lot, <laughs> which was awesome. Um, we get to school, and I think I remember us getting there early because we rode our bikes. We mm -hmm. got there before everybody else did, and we went around just putting it in people's Everywhere. lockers, taping Everywhere. it. And I remember us standing there, and people like were watching them read it off the wall because we would tape it on the wall in the mm -hmm. calf, everywhere. And we were like, oh, this is cool. People were reading it. Yeah, there's a group of people reading something that we did, and I think that was the uh, the bug that was like, we could do more. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, after that, it was just like, let's keep going, you know. And yeah. uh, it was, yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of freshman year was just me and you, for the most part. I yeah, mean, yeah. Uh, I, I think you kind of well, I, I yeah, I, I hanging out. I was one of those people in the hallway reading it, and you know, had you you guys were. Not even really on my radar at, yeah. at, at the you know for the first few issues. Uh, I just I just knew there was this thing up on the wall. Um, <laughs> yeah, our and, little yeah. yeah. And but, Dan got involved somewhere in that time. Definitely period. before well, I did. Well, yeah. he was he was kind of he was involved right from the beginning, but it was like he was he wasn't there with us like after school like working on it and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, because yeah. he always had to go home, and I, I don't know what his home life was like but he always had to be home for some reason he yeah couldn't, like, yeah go and hang out after that school true. and stuff so it was like yeah. so it's like we would work on it and then we'd see him the next day and he'd just kind of be like well can i throw something in you know yeah yeah and i think he did after the first issue and then nate was you got involved maybe halfway into that first volume of issues we did i think you so. know I, like, I it was towards the end remember. of the year yeah it, it, it was still freshman year i know that you mm -hmm. know it, it was towards the end of the year um, I know because I, I went to I was on the wrestling team my freshman year. Yes, yes, I and that's that. why I started staying after school because yep. I had the wrestling going on. Yeah, and you used to hang out just to hang out with me before yep. wrestling started, and, then and I was always leave. in detention. <laughs> <laughs> so we would, we would all be there. You know, I mean, it just yeah. kind of worked out that way. And it's funny too because it's like we talk about how like you weren't really involved at the beginning, but it's like when I look back at it as a whole, it's like I I think of it as. Us three, pretty much, were kind of yeah, like the yeah. nucleus, yeah. and then everything else kind of went around that. And I'm not discrediting anybody. There was a lot of people like helped out and did a yeah. lot of stuff for us. So, yeah. But it was always kind of like we were the three that kind of held it together and it's it made it work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You think about it, like I always think I feel like yeah, we know how it all started, but even though. I, in my mind, it's like Nate was always there since the beginning, even yeah. though he wasn't. Yeah, exactly. But that, I just picture you that you were. That's right. pretty much what I'm getting. Right. At, yeah. yeah, I mean, <laughs> and, and I think also, I think when it was just me, you, and then Dan, it became when it became bigger. Like, oh my God, we're doing multiple pages and articles. Nate stepped in and kind of took charge. You were in charge of the meetings. It's like, holy yeah. crap, we're not that creative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was like, Nate was like, you came in, you did the meetings. You were kind of the editor because in the beginning, we would give you the stuff because you had a computer. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that, was that was a was big, big factor, yeah. yeah. And you typed everything. And if I'm not mistaken, you'd also, uh, uh, Craig's Victor, you would yeah. computerize that. Yes. Because his was crude drawings, yeah. which I did post which mm -hmm. I, I forgot. I kind of I kind of liked like looking back at them. I regret that I kind I think I kind of forced that. I was like I really I really I want this to be you know be clean and uniform and mm -hmm. always recognize the exact same thing from panel to panel. And I when I saw the hand drawn stuff again, I was like, I wish we just put that up. Why did I want so much extra work? <laughs> but I like that. I like it because it was uniform. It looked, looked the same. Yeah. But even because in my mind, it was done by Nate. Oh wait, no, it was right. Because yeah. you were doing this, you did you with it, um, and I, uh, the Bob came out first, and then oh, definitely, and then uh, <laughs> Craig saw. That. 
I could do something but with a mouse. <laughs> yeah, was, uh, but I mean, this shit was funny though. So yeah, I mean, fault him for that. Yeah. <laughs> Bob, Bob, by the way, Phantoms by several years. I don't know. No, if we don't you were aware about that. that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did it come out no. of the Bobs? <laughs> no, um, no, it didn't. But but my um, the, wow, the Bob, the Bob group. Yes. Yeah. Um, Throwback. my my father uh, worked at um. I I think he worked at Borders Books and Music then, but it might oh have been God. it might have been like if the newsstand was still around at that time. That was a uh, bookstore in Enfield. Um, mm-hmm. I, the newsstand. Bu- <laughs> it was in the shop right plaza, right? Yes, near the Chinese place. That yep. area. Yep. yep. Yes. Um, wow. But Ooh. anyway, he I I I think I think by high school he was uh, off to Borders because the newsstand probably wasn't still open by then. But who yeah. knows. <laughs> Probably the guy that had to shut down the newsstand and and cried because he was the manager. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he brought that Bob's thing, that Bob's uh, CD to me. Which yeah. I, we're sitting here reminiscing on something for everyone else that probably no one other than three of us even remembers. Um, so let's move away from the Bob's CD. <laughs> <laughs> but the no the the Bob comic strip was something I did. I had an I still somewhere in my basement. I have an entire book. I have I have. Um, Probably a hundred pages of of Bob comic strips, um, and you got to post those, man. I, yes. I do. I gotta I gotta dig that up, and I will I will put those up because I think they're they're oh, cool. That'd be awesome. And those yeah. are hand drawn, by the way. If Craig has any more uh, hand drawn Victor stuff, uh, even new, <laughs> even new, <laughs> I have to send a message on Facebook or ask him. He, yeah, That'd someone awesome. asked him to start it up again, mm-hmm. and he I, when I saw him on New Year's, he was like. No way. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I, you know, I was, uh, after reading all that stuff over the last few weeks, I, I was looking back and I was thinking, could I do that today? And I realized I, I know nothing about pop culture anymore. <laughs> you know? It's changed. It's, like, it's uh, not two or three things. It is so many things. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like I listen to your podcast you do with the other guys there, and it's, and I, I don't even know half the crap you guys are talking about. Oh, really? you know? <laughs> we don't either. <laughs> you know, so. It's like I'll listen, I'll, I'll hear something, I'll be like, oh, I know about that actor or that thing, and then you go on to something else. I'm like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, no clue. As high school students, we were just tapped into O.J. Simpson and then Hugh Grant. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was the two big things. And I, I'm like, I'm posting the issues, okay? So we get, we, we surpass the one-page issues, we get to the multiple-page issues, and all of a sudden it's just like, O.J., 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 and there, we had that one issue where we salute OJ. Yeah, well, it, it was, was like it was like four pages of just talking about OJ. But it was everywhere then, though. Yeah, it, it was, was like it was on every channel when you got home from school, like when you woke up, like yeah, the radio yeah. stations were all talking about it. Remember, they let us watch the trial in yeah. class. Yeah, you know, I yeah. mean, they don't do that for anything nowadays. No, that's true. <laughs> so I mean, it was like it was a big deal. And looking back, I have no idea why it was such a big deal. He's just a football player, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was a murder trial, but I mean, there's murder trials every day. I don't know why. Yeah. Looking back, it was such a big deal, but at the time, it was and yeah. for well, everybody. That was that was, <laughs> um, that was that was after, and not too soon after, or not too long after the um, the no the Rodney King thing, right? Yeah. With, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was it was really you know it was it was um, yeah because Rodney King things was coming together. 1992. Yeah. Uh, I know that from Sublime Song, and <laughs> and uh, and obviously the OJ was like ninety five, so mm-hmm. it was like three years after. But I yeah. mean that's still close enough. So it's yeah. it's like the you know it's L A police and a celebrity, mm-hmm. multiple homicide. Um, it was it was fascinating because because we didn't um, that kind of thing had not happened before, at least not at a time in our lifetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and certainly not something where every detail would be immediately accessible to the public. That's that was, true. Yeah, that know. was the first of its kind for us, anyway. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, our parents might have had something like that. that the way the media publicized it, it made it almost cartoonish in itself, where it was very easy absolutely. to make it <laughs> to make it into comedy. You know, Cato. Cato. Yeah, and we got absolutely. Our, we got our pen names too. I mean, yeah. Cato. That was your pen name. That was right? my pen name. I was Cato. You were Edward Junior. Edward Junior. Yeah. Because that that movie came out right around I, that yeah, same and I love time. That you movie. loved that movie. Yeah? Oh, it was just on recently too, and I'm like, everything's oh coming together. I go, <laughs> I gotta watch it. Uh, still holds and up. Havoc today. the extent. <laughs> yes. Yes. It, so uh, <laughs> yeah, and like, okay, so if we, 
I know we'll get to the suspension issue soon <laughs> enough. But prior to that, that first issue coming back over the summer, it was multiple pages. That was probably one of the biggest at the time. And it was just me and you. I think we did a lot of cutting out and pasting of cartoons. W- what we did on our summer vacation crap. And I think it was mm-hmm. just mostly me, you, Dan. Maybe Nate. I think, yeah, Nate. And I don't think anybody really else yet. I th- right. Once school started, yeah. that's when we had our first meetings. And right. I, oh, yeah. I posted right. those meeting notes that Vicky took. Yeah, in and the stairwell, right? <laughs> then we, well, had we had them in the stairwell. We had them across the street at the little pavilion over there. Oh, yeah. uh, the Moose Lodge. Yeah, the Moose Lodge, Lodge yeah. We, and elks, elks, elks. We'd have them wherever, <laughs> wherever we could like con- congregate without uh, without the teachers bothering us. You yeah, know, yeah, pretty much. That first <laughs> issue, that first issue, we came back after the summer one. We came back, and I posted this, and I didn't censor this, and I left it. I, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'll, I'll bring it up here. I'm not gonna make a big deal about it on that. Um, there's a girl uh, that was. I didn't censor it, and I don't know if that's what you were talking about, Nate. The first page, I, we basically took a photo out of the newspaper. Mm-hmm. And we wrote this horrible article, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like. Wow, we didn't get trouble for that. Like yeah. th- no. that was right out of the gate. That was our we're coming back and we're and we are totally going nowhere. <laughs> we're going downhill at this. Point. And I'm going. Ah, that is, oh, I mean, it's slander. Yeah. I mean, we basically made copies and put it around town. And nobody, and this person, I remember knowing, like she hung around us in freshman year, and then I don't, I have no idea what happened to her now. I, yeah. And. I was like, oh, my God, how did we get away with that? Yeah, yeah. And we thought, and I read it going, well, as a, a teenager, this is hilarious. As right. Oh, absolutely. As someone in my 30s, I would be, like, mortified if that was my daughter or or anything. You know, be like, oh, my God, why would someone publish this? Um, but we did. I'm like, oh, my God, why? Yeah. Well, I, I think I, it, it actually, it. I mean, it certainly wasn't something, especially since it was underground. Yeah. There was not as much of the the sense that everybody's looking at this that's like true. we were making it for our friends yeah, yeah so basically. it was you know and and i mean of course it went out everywhere when you're posting it on the wall to begin with but mm-hmm. um but you know that that certainly wasn't our thought process it certainly well, gives me some sympathy for people now that you see things on facebook and it's like you know oh these kids wrote bomb threats and and um you know or or bullied this person and yeah i'm like you know we we actually would be those bad guys if yeah. we had been here you know well, i never did any bomb threats thankfully but no. yeah, <laughs> we I did know. do general threats of violence though we will we, we will destroy you <laughs> that kind of thing yeah yep. <laughs> yeah but we never pointed at some when that came up i noticed it wasn't like we're so you're, we're pointing the finger at someone going we're gonna go after you it was sort of a generalization yeah. like, like a hey, top 10 yeah. list of something but yes. it was teacher <laughs> a lot of stuff towards teachers <laughs> which was another thing going oh my god what what did what were we thinking yeah. and i think well, at that point some of the stuff i didn't even know looking back i'm like we published that. I don't never remember reading that. And I oh, think I know. it became I, out of our hands. We went through uh, looking at the stuff you posted. I, it's like half the stuff I don't even remember. And Me it's neither. Just like, like some of the stuff, I'm looking at stuff that I wrote and I'm just like, I, I, I'm, I'm surprised <laughs> by it. You know? Same here. I was like, I, I wrote that? Wow. I don't know. Where did that come from? But, well, I, I, I don't mean to get off track. No, no, I, no. I was telling you the other day that you. You're missing stuff. I'm telling you, you're missing a couple issues there. There, you do not have all. There's of There's definitely the first thing before I really, I, I kind of knew that you guys were the ones doing this, but I hadn't really, you know, we hadn't struck up a real friendship yet. And, mm-hmm. um, but the the first thing that really um, caught my attention was uh, an article that that was published. Um, uh, that an article that was published <laughs> that basically was like, um, don't pick on or don't don't think less of gay men because here's a list of things that they do that that the rest of us would run from and it included deep arm fisting. Nate, <laughs> that, I cut that out. You cut it out. It was actually why the title was why we sh- why should we let why should we let gay men in the military? Yep. Yes. And it was very homophobic. Oh, certainly. Oh, and very um, uh, horrible. 
and they actually the person who did it uses his real name. Right. So I actually there's a page I posted in the center is just white. That's where that was. That was what because I, I remember like, what you're talking about, but yeah. I'm like I don't remember reading it over well, the last. Uh, I didn't want to publish that because yeah. we, yeah. we actually had a conversation on, on Facebook. I, I, I think you were included, but me and Nate were like, I'm like I just want to keep things censored because I don't want someone. We already have that one percent kind of upset about something, so I didn't want to upset people, yeah. especially we're on our 30s. Yeah, you wrote that when you were a teen. Yeah, that might not reflect what, how you feel now, and I don't want anybody. See, was once it's online, it lives online forever. I yeah. don't want to yeah. like put someone in a situation. Absolutely. So I did my best to censor, and I should go back and censor that one page we we talked about. But other than that, that article alone, I was like, holy shit, we put that out. Yeah. I like my mind, and I never read that. Until I don't now. remember who wrote it, but. I, I remember who wrote it. I did just I I almost said his name, but um, well, he, I can he was tell you actually from, a friend of mine, and 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 what was a friend of mine at the time, and mm. and uh, and remained a friend of mine after I came out at school. And um, uh, but it, I I actually thought it was a great piece of writing, but certainly was homophobic. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Well, yeah. we were, we were kind of. I mean, well, you all had like the whole rebellious thing as you teenagers, but we yeah, kind yeah. of like we wanted people to like give us stuff and just you know it was the more inhibited the better you yeah. know Freedom uninhibited speech, the better we're like yeah. yeah you we might not agree with what you're saying but we're gonna put it out there. yeah, yeah. It, it, that was basically how we felt about yeah, it it was yeah. just kind of like you know give us whatever anything like yeah, give us all your dirty laundry we'll sort yep. through it and just throw it on up <laughs> throw it at the wall see what sticks <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. You know, and that's kind of what got us in trouble with the suspension, <laughs> suspension too, because yeah. it was kind of just like people, you know, I mean, talking about like slanderous stuff, I and mean, that's basically why we got suspended was being slanderous to certain yeah. people at the school. I mean, I mean, half the dick and fart jokes they didn't care about. No, but it, no. Was, it was, yeah. it was like it was a slow burn. It was that first issue. With well, the and f- they didn't know who we were. That's that's one reason we didn't get in trouble for a lot of things. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, true. we were really good about it. We didn't tell people. Right. Everybody, we that were. That was the a secret, people. You don't tell pe- other than who you're friends with because once you start letting that out, what's the point? Well, I remember Everybody we used wants. to. I don't know if you remember this, but when we, we used to hand out the stuff like during class and like in between classes and. Like people ask, like who does this, and we'd be like, I don't know, you know, just yeah, take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> we're just, we're just, we're just handing stuff, stuff out. out. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I probably was not as smart about that, uh, and that's probably why <laughs> they initially, when everybody was uh, getting in trouble to begin with, uh, they they basically ha- did. They I was threatened with arrest and expulsion right off the bat. Oh wow! And then mm-hmm. you know they're like, oh, we know God. you're the ringleader of this whole thing, and at that <laughs> point I was. I was I I was already like you know the editor but uh You weren't the ringleader. I wasn't the ringleader and I was and I I really I was I wasn't the editor in the sense that I had any say in what did go in and what didn't. Yeah, we did vote on things. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. Not at first. I do remember <laughs> the Debbie article mm-hmm. when she wrote we everybody knows that so I can say her name. What happened I remember us being in the cafeteria, and my memory could be wrong, of us arguing about that article going in. Oh, yeah. I remember us going, like, yeah. a whole group of us, and it was a big debate. Yep. And I was I was totally stupid about it at the time. Were you saying I, for I, it? I, I was saying for it at the time. I don't remember uh, what and, happened, and, honestly. Well, I remember is because I was trying to... I was trying to hook up with Debbie, so, I was <laughs> <laughs> so at the time I was like, "Yeah, put whatever in. Oh, I'll make man. sure this goes through." Wow. You know, okay. Well, hey, you know, I mean, you secrets. got a lot of hormones going through you at that age. Secrets come out. <laughs> did you guys go? Out? I don't. I don't think it was ever a secret. We did go out for like a month, not even like yeah. three weeks or something like that. <laughs> wow. It's like we hung out a couple times on the weekend, and that was it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay, so that makes a lot of sense. But I do remember us having a debate, and I didn't have time to read. I don't know, a lot of us. Stuff would come through, and it would, people would de- we vote. It went in, yeah. and it was a democracy. It's like, okay, we voted in. It's going in, and maybe we didn't read it because I don't remember reading that article until after it got published. Right. Mm-hmm. I had no clue what it said, <laughs> and now that I read it, well, it was, I was like, oh, my God. Like, um, was it uh, state or – yeah, Stacy. Uh-huh. She she had posted an article before that, basically uh, taking certain people and calling them like the dick of the year, jerk of the year, something. I forget what it was, but uh, yes, yeah. someone and but it wasn't like 
it wasn't like really malicious. It was more, it was more comedic. Yeah. You know. So I mean, it, even though it was saying, "Hey, this guy's a dick," it was, it was all like a joke, and it was clearly put into. You know, it was, yeah. it was clearly made to to see, sound like a joke when you read it. You know, there was two issues prior to the Debbie one, um, and I don't if it was Stacy, Stacy or Megan. They wrote uh, "douchebag of the week" and they used the real name, and I yeah. censored that when I put it up. Yep. And one of them was um, a Dan. I'll just say a Dan. It wasn't one of the Dans that founded it, but it was a Dan. Yeah. Yep. And I took his name out, but like. I don't know who continued that because Debbie wrote that one, but Debbie didn't write those others. No, so it was it just kind of like following suit, like, oh, yeah, yeah. you wrote those. Yeah, that's I'll write a good them. idea. But she had, she had yeah. just broke up with her boyfriend, which is yeah, basically what yeah. she she wrote the article about, you know. So it was like full of venom, and obviously, you know, when you ever go through a big breakup, you know, it's like it was yeah. like diary <laughs> stuff. Yeah. yeah, it was like what you write in your diary. Not yeah, like, pretty much. I'm gonna put this out. And yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, I yeah, if if there was. I mean, even today, there, there, or not today, but you know, in in my recent life, there have been some some times where I would love to have had an outlet to just just vomit uh, my my <laughs> negative feelings out and 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 let people know this is what this person's like. Yeah. And yeah. Um, you know, you, now you hopefully hopefully by the time you're you're uh, you're through uh, your twenties, uh, you. You, you learn that you can't do that and that it actually doesn't help. But in high school, um, yeah, you don't understand yeah, that. You're we just provided looking, that outlet. And, yeah. yeah. And you're just, <laughs> as high school kids, we're just looking at it as like a, a freedom of speech kind of, uh, yeah. kind of thing. We're not looking at all the, the consequences of, yeah. of that, <laughs> of that yeah. freedom. So, like, you know, and so when somebody would give us stuff, it was it, a lot of times, I mean, that's why we had a vote. That's why it wasn't just like, okay, everybody else said no, and I said yes, <laughs> whatever. Right. Yeah. Because everybody was like, it doesn't matter if it's bad or it's slanderous. It's what this person wants to say. And yeah. That's and what we're all about. It, yeah. They can you say know. It, yeah. <laughs> and it was just like it's like the it's like pre Facebook. I mean, kids do this now on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Where yeah. we were doing this, it's pretty in, a lot of things. Just a small <laughs> little newspaper. It. Yeah. So like, I think also why they thought you might have been the ringleader is because. You published it, mm-hmm. and that you know. I don't know if you want to jump into this suspension. I think we're right now. I think going into that multiple pages, and then like we had Nate, we had the meetings, which was pretty organized for a bunch of high school kids. Well, yes. we, well another thing is when 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 we went into like having more and more pages, uh, mine and your articles kind of kind of got less and more coordinating. That's yeah. true. I you know, that. Yeah. so it's like when you're reading the magazine. All- like Ed Wood and Cato aren't like over the place like they were at the yeah. beginning. They yeah, just yeah. have like one or two articles throughout the whole magazine. Yeah, but but it's because we spent most of our time like working with other people, like giving them ideas yeah. or trying to help out and just yeah. like trying to get things rolling. So we'd have because it's like if we did ten pages last week, I don't want to do nine pages the next time. Yeah, right. you know yeah. we have to make it eleven or twelve. Right. I mean, it's yeah. like sided <laughs> and then yeah, well, it's true. Uh, and we stuck to our stories like. I did the Avon Lady. I just stuck to that, and yep. then Superhero Boy later on, and then you had your thing. That, well, we did uh, what did you Kato's do? Corner, Kato's Corner, and I did a thing, The Dead Again, Dead Again, which we started. Yep. Uh, like you helped me out a little bit with that, and I helped yeah. you with the the Avon Lady one. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Oh, I remember when we came up with that. You I, know, <laughs> how did we come up with that? Um, we were. It was actually your. Uh, I think it was your little brother. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Who kind of gave Nick. us? Uh, Anthony's Anthony. the middle one. Anthony's the middle one. Yeah. Okay. It was Anthony, and uh, I, I'm pretty sure he was the one who came up with the idea because somebody was selling Avon or something. Yeah. Okay. That was big and, back then. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think I. I you know, I, I might have my memories crossed, but if for some reason I can remember sitting at your house in your room <laughs> with, with your little brother there, who was freaking out about um, the uh, that. That Game Boy 3D thing that he had on his helmet. Oh yeah, <laughs> the 3D, the 3D thing that gave everybody <laughs> migraines. Yeah, yeah, the one was like it was all like infrared lasers <laughs> shooting directly into your retina and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, but, uh, I remember that. Uh, I mean, I can remember that, and uh, and I, I I just remember him being there and and saying something about like his teacher selling Avon or something oh, along those lines, yeah. you know, and. And that's when we we kind of just came up with the idea, wow, like, well, yeah. what if uh, what what if somebody came to your house and like basically 
duped you into like selling your soul. You know, <laughs> wow. you know yeah, they came yeah. with a bunch of like flashy stuff, and you know, they, and you're just like, wow, that's great. <laughs> Sign here, you know. Yeah, that's I remember that. Holy shit. My God, Josh! That was a <laughs> wow. Flashback. Well, yeah. it's weird because some things I can remember so vividly, and other things I'm just just they're gone. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah that was. All, I mean, I remember like we had a lot of fun with our little stories, and we just kind of gave the power. We be the whole group just became a, it like it, itself. It was like people just self published, and we voted, and it was just we got it done, mm-hmm. and yeah. uh, I just felt like it worked. We and I would do the covers. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. I think me or me and you would do the covers, and then we would. I would go to the office because I was working in the office. Yeah. And we moved from the whole, from paying ten cents a page, and I would be like making copies. And people you would be to, like, "What are oh, you doing?" I remember that you used to show up with a test. You had a you had a hall pass for that period. Yeah. And yeah. you'd show up with like a test. Uh, like you had three different tests, I think you were. <laughs> so and you and walk you... out with ten reams of paper. <laughs> paper yeah, yeah. <laughs> be like, I got to print some tests for this teacher, and they'd be like, okay. And, and you always sneak to the third floor one because that had the double sided copier. Yeah, yeah. Because once we were able to print on both sides, we just thought we were the awesomest. Oh my god! <laughs> and then, Mr. Sperm's Christmas issue. Did that come out after the suspension? That was the first one after the suspension. That was okay. So. Should we? We'll jump into the suspension. Yeah, I think it's about time. I think time. it's about time. Uh, we, uh, the suspension basically was we put out the issue with Hugh Grant on the cover, mm-hmm. and we parried, uh, did some parodies of the election that was going on in the high school, mm-hmm. which which I, I helped it, to run, by the way. <laughs> you did the election. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All the organization from our from our, the majority of the organization of our group came from. My experience with the student senate, which had been my only other main uh, extracurricular activity through yep, through all right. high school. So anyway, so <laughs> I helped I helped run this election, and then and then we were like, let's make, make fun, fun of, of this it. because this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was what really set it off was um, all the little flyers that they were all putting around school. I yeah. mean, yes. everybody had like their flyers, and some of them were just so corny. And then one of I don't remember the kid's name, but his name was Chuck. <laughs> I don't remember his last name. He put up a flyer with a dollar bill with his face on it and said, go buck for Chuck. And yeah, come on. I mean, that's just like <laughs> softballing it in there. Yeah, yeah. You know? We saw that and ran with that one. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it turned into go fuck with Chuck. Yep. And, and uh, that was, I mean, I mean, it, it cracks me up to this day. <laughs> you know what? And I'm sure if Chuck saw it, he probably laughed too. <laughs> That's true. Now, certainly. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, think, I think at that time it might have upset him. But, uh, I, I but doubt I, he, if he won or lost the election because of that. I actually, I, if he won, I would bet he won because of it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then who, who did the one with the friends? We took, they had a friend singer. You want to have friends like this? They yeah. took the cast of friends, and then we made it to some horrible sex. Like, we want to have, like, an orgy with these people. <laughs> like, we just made it, like, very sexual. <laughs> Even, you know, and that doesn't sound like us at all. No, 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 no. not at all. So we parody those two guys. Um, what else was then the issue that got us in trouble? I mean, obviously we know that you Debbie... in front of you right now. Huh? We should have brought him in front of us right now. For we, this. Have, we have the internet. Um, That's something we didn't have much of back then either. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, if we did, we probably wouldn't be handing this out at school, and it probably would have been even bigger, and we'd probably all have a lot of money from it right now. It would wishful be, thinking. It would have been like the onion. We would have been. You, you know how pissed I was when I started reading the onion, like about because well, it, it came out like what in the early two thousands. Yeah, two thousand. Two thousand one. Well, they began. They actually began probably before we did as as a uh, printed newsletter as well. But Are online, you sure? Cause oh, I mean, yeah, it wasn't like I. I actually. I mean, I didn't know about it because we, we started no, doing our stuff in like 94, 95, you know, and I, I didn't know about it back then. But I found out about The Onion maybe in like early 2000s, like when I was yeah. in my early 20s. I found, and I was like, I was like, what the hell, man? I came up with this concept. <laughs> Where's my royalty check? <laughs> you know? Okay. Yeah, look at that. So we brought up the issue. Okay. So the Hugh Grant thing and, um, you know, made Hugh Grant. Too bad this is radio. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean. Podcasting. I mean, if you go, you know. We did wreaking havoc, which was safe. I think um, there's nothing. There's really nothing uh, bad in the wreaking havoc, which were always entertaining. <laughs> I, and I think I'll have the notes from these. And I think when we had our meetings, you, we would do the interview there. 
And oh, we one, we wrote them like a script. It was yeah, we, didn't, yeah, we yeah. didn't really sit down and do an interview. We'd be like, oh, it would be funny if you said this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so no, okay, the, the friends one was see these six people that were caught having group sex together. Well, if you don't want to be caught doing something like this, vote for Ryan for voice vice president ninety seven because we have pictures. Ryan, now, Ryan. Now, obviously, Ryan uh, was a senior. Well, Ryan was. Well, ninety-seven, right. yeah, or no, he would have been a junior. A right? junior, okay. So, who was <laughs> and, Ryan? Uh, and, uh, <laughs> but I think it. So, well, I don't know what it says there, but uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm I don't not know. Sure. Was it Ryan McKean? Be mentioning this in this podcast. He did has a last <laughs> issue with yeah. his name on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, definitely one of my personally my best friends in in high school. Um, yeah, he's a great guy. And uh, I think and it might have been commenting actually. more than anybody <laughs> or liking things more than anybody else maybe in in all this stuff being posted on Facebook. Yeah. I, I'm not sure if it was him or not, but I mean, obviously the, the picture was some some uh, some flyer that was put up. You know, I think they used whoever Ryan was probably used. The uh, the friends the friends thing yeah and mm-hmm. then we take it down and we made it I mean in this context you don't remember what the the old right. flyers were so it <laughs> does, it's not as funny as it as it would have been yeah see we put it was his head on there and we put uh, Dagwoods on <laughs> yeah. on top of it <laughs> we put that we we wanted well because we didn't want to use his picture yeah. you know see, we didn't want his fa- which which yeah I know <laughs> in retrospect we're like yeah we'll throw people under the bus oh we don't want to put the guy's picture in there right yeah. <laughs> We we want to play well because there could be a lot of chucks, you know. Yeah. And, and, and uh, th- thanks for mentioning that because I just realized nobody had any idea what we were just looking at. <laughs> we are looking at the, we're reminiscing. We're looking at the old. If you go on, if you're on part of the group, you look at the suspension issue, and we are looking the friends thing. You you yeah. Yeah, you yeah. described it a little bit. But yeah. then we moved to the, the to the go fuck with truck thing, and uh... yeah. <laughs> And then I think another okay, so this is the issue. I mean, a lot of things in this issue. Um, Braceface, who I think was Vicky. I don't know. <laughs> I think so. Who was Braceface? I don't know. No, I don't, no, think, no, that no, was, I don't think that was. I don't think that was Vicky. Vicky. No, no. Well, they did a top ten say yes to sex, so it makes me think otherwise. <laughs> but I, I don't know who could it be. Oh, I, that's just not nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Vicky's listening, and she knows. She I'm probably kidding. will listen. Yeah. I, She's a sweetheart. Yeah, and, and I mean, or or the long-awaited lawsuit that we thought we got away with after <laughs> after uh, finishing this whole thing is is coming. So. That was Brian. That yeah, was Brian. Was I don't care. I ain't got no money. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get blood yeah. from a stone. <laughs> I, no, but I mean, I think I mean, no offense to Vicky, I think only the only person I remember in high school that would openly talk about sex was her. So that is why, true. That's why that I say is that. True. There's she, no disrespect there. That's just the truth, right? I don't know. That is true. Hopefully our kids don't listen to this. But. No. <laughs> um, so it that, was another Vicky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We didn't use her last name, so. <laughs> um, Avon Lady, which nothing really bad. And Kato's Corner, um, a breakup question, what should I do? And then and this is like, I don't know if this pertains to anybody. Um, oh. This was the issue with, with no, no, no. Okay, these are three <laughs> bad jokes. In the middle joke, I censored because it was really bad. It was really bad, <laughs> and um, I just, uh, yeah, I was. Bad. We just don't want to get in trouble. You don't want to get in trouble <laughs> a second time. Um, magazine quizzes. Okay, so then this was the issue with the editorial. About and then that's what we got. That's what we got suspended for. That was the editorial by Debbie, basically just bashing her ex boyfriend. You know, yeah. Which uh, I it's, mean, for a teenage girl, is is only natural. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah. <laughs> I always told the story in high school because I didn't read the article that she never mentioned his name, but she did twice. <laughs> yeah, As you she can tell she, I had because you had to send, edit it out. She did. Well, that's why we got in trouble because she did mention his name. And I really and thought, I, I believe he was one of the ones who went to the office and said, well, and rightfully so. I mean, yeah. if somebody's like yeah. talking maybe, crap I, about and, you and like that. And possibly the parents, not even the student. You know, the, the student probably would go home upset, yep. say people are saying this, and then the parent would come in and, and you know. I mean, and looking back, I mean, if somebody wrote that stuff about me, I would have done the same thing. Yeah. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah. and, so and, I mean, I can't yeah. fault them for yeah. it. But And we did do, I remember. There was threatening of a lawsuit. Mm-hmm. We yep. were all threatened yep. about that from the parents. Mm-hmm. We Did we have to write an apology? 
We did have to apologize. To well, remember. we certainly did write an apology, and I and I had to personally write it, and um, and uh, you, yeah, you, I remember you, you writing yeah. an apology. Yes, yeah. in the in the episode, in the issue in the episode. Yeah, um, which you did a. I don't like, think I ever job. physically wrote. I'm sorry, anyway. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I I will say, you know, it, one of the reasons I don't know whether they specifically told me that I had to be the one to write it, but I I will say that you know the reason I was able to write something that came across as sincere was that uh i i was in fact personally friends with everybody that we trashed in in the newsletter which is weird we we ever mentioned yeah all most of us were friends with them and that was why we thought it was okay yeah i mean we're like oh they'll get it this is funny exactly you You know know, it was never meant to be malicious in a way it was just kind of meant to be like all right we're ripping on you but it's like You know, just the the way buddies do, you know, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Or, you know, or the way that friends who are upset with, I mean, there were definitely times where we were like, yeah, we're kind of pissed off right now about this and that's why we're doing it. I, yep. I, I think yeah. that, that happened as well. Yeah, it, it was awkward because when I was posting this and I saw people who were in the group and I'm like, wait a minute, this is so weird, awkward because some of these people are trashed in these issues, but they're, they were part of it. Yeah. And I'm like, how did it make any sense? Yeah. <laughs> so then I – that's why I did my best to censor things. But this one was obviously – I reread this going, oh, my God. She was just like, boom, drop yeah. the bomb. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I was like – and I was like, oh, my my Lord. Um, so basically that was the thing. And then Victor, another Victor. And then this was another one that um, – Captain Steubing, which I think is rich. I, it, one of the riches. It was um, rich to bonus. I think, yeah, I, think, I think I think it was yeah. Rich the bonus. I think you're right. And he r- rags on some teachers with wigs. <laughs> Westcott. Uh, I mean, Mr. Vincent. Um, Mr. Wilk. Mr. Jolly. I, I, I don't think you he's know, right about all those. <laughs> well, I don't. You know, I remember clearly, like when they called me into the office, and it was really. I don't think they ever even cared about that. Oh, no. Yeah, they, no, they, were they just never like, brought that up. Well. They were like, yeah, you made fun of a bunch of teachers. Who cares? Yeah. You know, they, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. well, you know, teachers probably get made fun of well, all the time. Teacher's mom isn't going to come in pissed off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Threatening lawsuits. Uh-huh. This is true. I mean, this was, I think that might have been the last page, but yeah, that was the last page of that issue. And that was the weirdest part. Never brought up once. It For me, when I was brought in, it was go fuck with Chuck. Mm-hmm. And the fact that the principal... Our principal, who got in trouble later on for God knows what, yeah. uh, <laughs> reading the whole having group sex. Yeah, yeah he read out, it out loud. <laughs> yeah, out loud to me. And I'm like, well, this is awkward. Go fuck with Chuck. And then the Debbie article. And then him going, who are all these people? Yeah. And all I just – and I never, I don't think any of us – I said this before. I, we wouldn't rat each other out. No, no. I was just like, well, it was me. And that was it. And then yeah. he's like, well, we have all of you guys that we could find – and they separated all of us. I mm-hmm. remember we never saw each other. We were just put in different rooms. It was crazy. And they had more than that issue, too, though. Like, oh, he like, pulled like out he the had, whole collection. Yeah, like all of them. Yeah, yeah. and he's yeah. like, we've been wondering where you guys, you know, yeah. like, who's been doing this? Well, it's, as I said, it's I, maybe I, wish I had his number because i call yeah. him up and be like, hey, can I get <laughs> <laughs> But as as I got this uh, publicly on but, uh, but yeah, I, they pulled out the stacks and I was like don't make people have to yeah, scroll down no. you can just tell them <laughs> <laughs> no I, I said um, when they when they pulled them all out I was like do, do you want my autograph <laughs> <laughs> he's like oh I'm a big fan <laughs> you know I use a pen name <laughs> and then I, I think after the whole suspension we um, Nate I think had the idea or one of us had the idea but you did it um, is putting the pen name with our real name a small yeah. print at the very bottom well, I well, I actually pre- I think I presented it to the group as if it was an idea, but, that's what but it really normal. what they required it in order for us to oh, continue doing yeah, it. Yeah, well, you right. recall we had to like kind of petition yeah. for it. You well, know, they didn't allow yeah. us right off right off the bat to yeah. continue doing it. It was kind of like we got back and we immediately uh, went to uh, Mrs. Uh, Genitis. Uh, Genitis. Yeah, well, I'll, and, I uh, can actually tell you guys because um, I don't know if we ever even just sat down and talked about it, or if I was just like, "Okay, we're kind of still moving, so this is what we need to do." Yeah, but it was, it was when all you, happened. You fast. guys were gone for like two weeks. Yep. 
And yeah, I never heard this. What right. happened? What transpired <laughs> between those two weeks? Yeah, so, when, you, when you're the, this is the age before text messages and cell yeah. phone, and internet. So like, when you're out of school for two weeks, you're pretty much just cut off. Right. Me and Brian just like hung out every day, you know, yeah, watching yeah. TV and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Price is right, yeah. baby. <laughs> if there are any kids listening, um, th- this is like if your parents took your cell phone away for two weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we were um, out of the loop. Yeah. The. Uh, what happened, actually, I believe a lot of this is owed to, to, to Ryan McKean. Um, really? He, yeah. Think about it. Mm-hmm. We would need someone who actually was generally a good kid mm-hmm. in the eyes of the administration and the teachers. And we were not. No. <laughs> <laughs> a good student, uh-huh. all right, um, who, who got along well with a so lot of the teachers. for 2 right here. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ryan and I were in um, English class, several English classes over the course of um, our high school career. We were in several English classes taught by Mrs. Genitis, um, who uh, was not an easy teacher, but was, in my opinion, a very cool teacher. Mm. One of the teachers that's like, uh, fluorescent lights are bad for you. I'm bringing in a bunch of lamps and we're going to have natural lighting in here. And, you know, and oh, this is what the course is supposed to be, but that doesn't sound fun or educational, so this is what we're going to do instead. And But then she was very demanding, mm-hmm. so it's yeah, it's yeah. not like everybody liked her. But, um, <laughs> but I did, because I was getting Fs in everything anyway, other than like, <laughs> chorus and maybe a home ec class or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so, How's you know... How's chorus? <laughs> if, if I, um, you know, I never judged a teacher based on how hard they were because i didn't give a fuck anyway about anything they they demanded of me so um but she certainly knew what was going on with all of this and Mm -hmm. uh and and um i believe ryan did have have a hand in um you know letting her know who some of the people were because he knew that she wasn't like investigating she was you know, she wanted to support this. Um, really? And, and I think I think Mr. Sweet even more so. Um, but Miss, Mrs. Genitis was the one um, who was plugged yeah. into some of the kids. And the two of them went to the administration and, and fought for us. But it took, I, I think you guys ended up coming to her mm-hmm. afterward and yeah, saying, yeah. Yeah, you know, we, we really m- very much would like to continue doing this. And um, and I remember having like a petition sign. Yeah, I remember absolutely. going and getting like signatures from like oh, so many people. I don't remember how many we got. But. Yeah, they. I think they told us that we would need to have at least ten percent of the student body, which at that time would have had to have been minimum one hundred and fifty kids. Yeah, um, it was, is that really? Yeah, because yeah, there was like fifteen hundred to two thousand. I, do, I kids slightly our... remember all that, and I remember having conversation with them yeah. to bring it back. Yeah. and I yeah. know that actually before you guys got back. Some of these signatures had already been collected, but the majority of the work certainly came when you guys were back and the people who were passionate ab- about this, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was just the end of our pen names, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. Everybody yeah. knew it was like, us at that point, you know, and which was cool in one sense because it was like you kind of had a boost yeah. of popularity yeah. there. Yeah. But now yeah. we're famous. But but we always <laughs> wanted it to be kind of like secretive, you yeah. know. So, yeah. I mean, it sucked having to like bring it out to the light. But I mean, it, um, it, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, so we we so the transition of us being suspended and us coming back. I think right here, we're gonna take we're we're gonna stop this hour. I'm gonna stop it here, and we'll uh, the next show we'll talk about pre you know us coming back from our, our post uh, suspension and what. We'll, Post, yes. Yeah, not pre. We already covered that. <laughs> the, the post uh, of everything that happened. So we're going to take, we're, we're going to go. Yep. And we'll be back in the, uh, the next time you listen to this. Whenever you want to, I guess. <laughs> um, it will be there. So this is uh, our first episode of our Oral the History Phantoms of the Phantoms. Podcast. The Phantoms Podcast. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. <laughs> Fa 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 f
Five, 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 five